Hey everybody, we're at Jean Frieda's house today. <coughs> Sorry. Notice she's already decorated her tree and she's ready for Christmas. My tree has actually been decorated since last year. I never did take it down, but I don't have Christmas ornaments on it. I have bears and woodland creatures since I live in like the forest and the mountains. Um, so anyway, she's already decorated hers. Isn't it gorgeous? And of course she has all her packages because she's buying me more stuff, more Jean Frieda things to do. So I'm waiting here just a few seconds to see if I actually go live, which is what I always do. If you guys are there, let me know by saying hey and telling me where you're joining from. It should be showing that I'm going live any second now, but it's not yet. So let's see what's happening. Okay, for some reason it's not showing that I'm live. And let's look around here, see what we got. There's Jean Frieda. Maybe you couldn't even see her before. Um, all right, so for some reason, it does not appear to be going live. So I may have to start this again. Because I'm not seeing it as live. Tammy, I assume if you could see me, you would be messaging me on Messenger to let me know that I am live. Uh, but I don't see. Let me see if I see. I'll not doubt the bottom. I am live. That's just freaking weird because I can't even see it on my own. Darn it. I hate that when I can't see it and can't see you guys. Okay, so I almost restarted it, so it's a good thing I didn't. I am live, Tammy says. So, hey, everybody. Even though I can't see you guys at all, and I hate that because I'd like to be able to see what's happening. And on my iPad, maybe I should restart it while we're just getting started, and I'll see if I can see everybody. But anyway, as you can see, there's Jean Frieda behind me, and she thinks she's gonna be able to pop in with us today. We'll see. Start this again, see if I can find anything. Videos. Sorry, hold on one more sec. All right, not sure why that's not showing up on mine. I'm gonna try it one more time and then I'm gonna forget it. So I don't don't even know if anybody's here or not. I know you are, Tammy, because I can see you on Messenger. But other than that, I'm clueless. So anyway, Jean has picked out a really nice project for us this time, I think. And actually, uh, I have a hint for what next week's is gonna be and I'm a little bit scared about it because I think I need to be a little more talented than what I am, and I have no much talent for kind of decorating things. But anyway, okay, for today's, here's what we were going to do. Let me see if I can find a picture for you. And yeah, Tammy, I still can't see squat. Oh, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Maybe the wrong picture was showing up. Okay, I got it, yippee. I can see you guys now. Alrighty, hey, Rebecca and Roxana. Joanne, Tammy, Rebecca, Chow, hey guys, Carol, good to see you guys. All right, now I can finally see, so I'm cool. All right, got seven here. Okay, Tammy, thank you. All right, so what she had for us to do today was something with vinyl and a piece that she bought me from Michael's. So I'm going to see if I can figure out how to show it to you. Oh, yeah, I know how. I'm going to do this in Cricut Design Space mostly. But then I'll probably finish cutting it in my Cameo because it's right here. But I'm going to design it in Cricut Design Space. So that should make some Cricut people pretty happy. But wait do you see what I'm going to do with the Cricut stuff. And I think it's legal and okay for me to do it because I, oh, I mean, I pay for access every month and I barely use it. But anyway, here's what we're going to be doing. <clears throat> Excuse me. She got this sign for me at Michael's as I said I have the receipt down here and I could give you the product number if anybody's interested in seeing what it is I'll put that down below if you want just in case you want to look it up the thing that she bought me was a large chalkboard arrow sign and she asked me if I had had white um, vinyl and I said yes I did and actually the vinyl white vinyl that I had was iron on and I certainly don't want to use that on this I was really hoping I would have um, I was really hoping that I would have uh, non-permanent. And the reason being is I like to be able to make these things and then take the stuff off and then use it for another holiday or for something else just to you know, get double use out of stuff. 
So anyway, this is what I'm going to do today. I did end up finding some regular white vinyl. I think, let's look and see. Let me look and see what it is. I think it is, well, actually there's no label on the back. So I'm thinking that maybe it's a permanent vinyl. I've already stuck it to my mat here, so I'm a little bit ready to go because I kind of know what I have to do for this one. This is going to be a pretty easy one, right? So let's look over here again. That's what I'm going to make. And maybe, I wonder if I can, I think, I don't think I can copy this and bring it into design space. Well, let's go to design space. So here we are in Cricut Design Space. And I'm just going to go to new and replace whatever was there before. So I don't think I can copy and paste anything here, which would be nice if I could copy this. Okay, what I think I'll do is I'll go back to silhouette right here and I'm going to go to file. I'm just going to save this picture so I can open it in Cricut Design Space so I have an idea of what I'm working on, although it's not too difficult. But I'm going to save to my hard drive as, I'll save it as Reindeer Crossing, and I'm going to save it as a JPEG. Because I just want to use this as an image to look at. I'm going to save it as a JPEG in my downloads. If I was smart, I'd save it on my desktop. But, and I'll just leave these numbers as they are and say OK. Then I'm going to come back over here again, and let me make this a little smaller so I can see if Tammy's trying to alert me to anything back there. Whoops, not that small. Make this like this. Because back there, Tammy, see where it says Messenger up in here? I think it'll flash if you have something like, we can't see your screen, going. So here's Cricut Design Space. Now I'm going to go to Upload, Upload an Image, Browse, and I'm going to look for that reindeer, and I hope I'm going to find him easily. Reindeer Crossing. Oh, let's see. You think it would kind of be an. Oh, there's the dog that helped me break my little foot. <laughs> let's see. Reindeer Crossing. All right. Did you guys see it when I scrolled by it? This is why I should have probably saved it on my desktop. Sorry. There it is. Phew. Okay. I'm going to open that. And I'm just going to keep it as complex. Continue. Continue. And I'm going to open this. Save. Okay. And then I'm just going to upload this into my, what I'm working on. Just so I have an idea. Obviously, I can make it a lot smaller. And basically, the reason why I wanted to see this, I use this little uh, place down here where I can make it smaller. And I want to make this a lot smaller like that so I can see the rest of my screen and I get larger. All right. So that's kind of what I'm going for. So if I bring you down here, hang on just a sec to my table, I can actually show you what I have. So I'll, I'll drag this camera down here first so you don't have to watch me not that around. Okay. So here's what I have, and I'm going to change the screen, and you can kind of see here, I guess they've had it where it said wedding before, and here's the chalkboard. So I'm just going to get it out of this box. It's pretty good size, so I'm going to want to be able to measure it. This is the stake onto which it's going to go, and I think I want it to go... I think I was deciding for some reason I wanted it to point this way. <laughs> and so the stake will go in here, which you can't see. That part goes in here, and it'll go into the ground. So what I need to do first is just kind of measure how much space I have right here. Now what I've decided, instead of having one deer like she has right here, I'm going to put two deer, just because that seemed like that fit nicely on the size that this is, so that my text can still be pretty big. So looking again at my piece, and I have my measuring tape around my neck, I'm figuring that the deer are going to take up about six inches. So I'm going to kind of like butt right, right off the bat six inches off of this on how much... Well, actually, what I should do first, I'm sorry, what I'm going to do first is just kind of measure 
how much space I have. And I would say from the beginning way over here on my left that you can't see to the right over here, I have about 18 inches. So I'm gonna come up to Cricut Design Space and I'm gonna draw a box that's about 18 inches or is 18 inches wide. So I just come over here to the shapes on the left hand side, get the square. Then I'm gonna take the square over here, unlock it, and I'm gonna make it 18 inches wide. And actually it would be easiest if I came up here to where it says size up at the top. And I just made this say 18 inches. And what's really unusual is I must have been messing, oh yes, I did unlock the lock. I was wondering, because generally the lock here in Cricut Design Space comes in locked, whereas we know in Cameo or in Silhouette Studio it comes in unlocked as the default. But anyway, we want this to be 18 inches. So there it is. So I'm going to have to make this smaller like this. Okay, like that. And I forgot to measure how wide it was. So let's see. It's about as much as I want to use is probably about, I'd say, like four and a quarter. So I'm going to make it up here at Cricut Design Space again. I'm going to make this piece be 4.25 inches high. And I'm going to get this piece of wood out of my way. Make this 4.2 inches high. Okay. And Tammy, I'm not seeing the messenger button flashing, so I guess we're good to go. I just peeked. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh oh, where did everything go when I did that? What did I do? Oh, I'm in silhouette, that's why. Okay, let me go back. Okay, so here we are, and this is how much space we have to work with on our chalkboard. And as I said, I think that the reindeer are gonna take up about six inches. So I'm just gonna draw another shape for the heck of it. And I'm just gonna draw a shape that's six inches wide. I'm gonna unlock the lock, just, just to give me an idea to, for starters. So when I click on this, I can see right now it's seven inches wide. And I really good, and I really want it to be a six inches wide. So that's a that's close. Whoa, six inches perfectly. Okay, so that's how much my reindeer are gonna take up. I'll take that and make that a little different color so we'll know. Okay, that's my reindeer. And over here is where I have room for my text. So all I have to do, if you look down here in my sample, is write the words reindeer crossing. So I come over here to the text tool. And I'm just going to start typing in reindeer, R-E-I-N-D-E-E-R. Whoops, forgot the D. Next line, crossing. Okay, there we go. Okay, now that's got to fit in here somehow. And of course, I don't like that font at all. So what I'm going to do first, maybe, is to come up here to where the uh, fonts are up here. Right now it's Cricut Sands. I don't want Cricut Sands. I'm going to see what else they have in here that might look interesting. And there is one in here that I was had in mind that I thought might be a good one. And let's see if I can find it. Sometimes looking at these fonts could just drive you crazy. I think, I think it was an A font. So, and of course, obviously, you can pick any font you like. Okay, I'm thinking maybe this was it. The Arab Brush Stroke Regular. Aging Frida, I see my sisters. And so I'm going to click on that one to make it. And that, I really like that a lot. Look how much, look how close that matches that. I think that's going to look really cool. So. What I'm gonna do now, you know, Jean, hey, Jean, everybody that doesn't know Jean Frieda, that's my baby sister. She's the one that's in the back of all the pictures because she's the one that likes to shop and gets me all my stuff I need. So I'll let you see Jean Frieda. There she is, my little baby sister. In front of her tree that she's already gotten finished. All right, back to work. Okay, so I think this matches up pretty well right here. And so all I have to do then is come over here and I'm thinking maybe I could put, well, what I'm gonna do first is stretch the words out because I want it to go the whole way across if I can, Hmm, but that's not too good. So the next thing I think I'll do is I'll change the spacing between these two lines. So I'm gonna click so both of this is selected 
And if we'll remember in Cricut Design Space, the way we can change the line spacing is just come over here to Advanced and say Ungroup to Lines. Now I have two lines of text and I can make them closer together, but guess what? They're not going to fit in here. I think I'll make them that close together. And then I'm going to grab both of them again. Oops, but I just want them. So see if I can just grab them. Okay. And I'm going to make them smaller like that. So I can get them to fit in there nicely. So remember the reindeer are going to go here. And reindeer crossing is going to go over here. So now remember, I said that I was I don't need, need to leave a margin here because I said this is how much area I have to work with. So I'm thinking what I should do is click on crossing hold down my shift key and click on reindeer and stretch that out more so it fits from edge to edge top to bottom as well as it can like that and that looks pretty good to me the only other thing I might want to do is uh, I can also unlock the lock and stretch it this way a little bit like that hey I forgot did this show no darn it I cropped it this was a um, text that she had sent to me, and at the top of this picture here, it had a little picture that I always like to use of her. It's like when she was about five years old, my sister, and she was missing her fruit two front teeth. She was such a little brat. Shh, don't tell her I said that. All right, so back to my reindeer crossing. So that looks pretty good to me. I'm pretty dang happy with that. Now, I am going to want to make that white just because it's going to be on my white keep bouncing back there we go I'm going to make it out of white um, vinyl so I'll just click on this one hold down my shift key and click on the word reindeer and then just change their color to white just because that's really what color it's gonna be it's gonna be like that and of course the backgrounds really actually gonna be black not that dark gray because it's like a chalkboard color all right so the next thing that I had to do is I had to get my reindeer and getting reindeer is really easy if you have access all you have to do to find images that you like is to come over here to images and then all I do is come up here when I'm looking for an image and I'll just type in reindeer and I want to look for somebody cute but not really really cute like these these are too cute if you remember what her image looked like on her let's look back again canvas it looks a lot more realistic right look at that guy he looks a lot more realistic than those little cutesy ones so we want a more realistic one like that. Oh, hey now. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to move this back out of the way. And now we're ready to go ahead and go to images again. And still I'm looking at the reindeer. So I'm going to go through here and look for somebody. Okay, that guy's, that guy's kind of goofy looking, if you ask me. He looks like a dog with antlers. I don't know. I shouldn't say that. Somebody that drew him may be here. All right, let's see. And this guy's a little too modern for my taste. So I'm going to just keep scrolling through here. Okay, I really like this guy, but I'm a little worried about how thin. Can you see I'm pointing out this guy over here? I'm on the right. I'm a little worried about how thin his antlers are. I love these guys. I love that one, especially his antlers, but he's not really in flight. Okay, that one looks pretty good. Hmm. to keep looking just to make sure I find one that I like and what I should be doing is any that I kind of like I should actually be put clicking on them and then they end up down here in this little trough and I can delete them out if I decide I don't want them so I'm just looking through here quickly these won't work at all with these little whatever those things are on them blankets so I'm gonna keep looking and this is the part that takes the longest sometimes, is finding the image you want to use. See, those are cute, but they're too cute. All right, so I'm at the end of this. So, I think that I remember seeing a reindeer that I liked once. And it was in some kind of font or cartridge named Gypsy something. So maybe if I go into the cartridges and Gypsy, G-Y-P, S-Y, Gypsy, 
I think it was Gypsy Wanderings or Gypsy Wandering. Wandering. Hmm. Nope, not Wandering. Maybe Wanderings. Uh, no, not Wanderings either. Wait, maybe it is in here because look. These are some animals and stuff. Gypsy wandering. 372 images. Oh my heavens. All right, so notice you do know that I do own, I am a member, I own access, or I pay for it monthly because all of these are free to me right now. And what made me think it was in here? There's some snow stuff. What is this one? Okay, I like this one right here. Look at this guy. See this guy right here? I really like him a lot. Look how thick his antlers are. This little swoosh right here, you know how to get rid of that, right? Oh, and you guys, he's probably telling you, Nightbot I see just popped up. I forgot to change his stuff, so he's probably telling you to get something from last week. Anyway, I'm going to click on him, which, as you know, puts him down in this little trough down here. And then I'm going to say insert image. Okay, yeah, because I like him. He's going to be perfect. I don't want this part to cut out on his little hip there, or whatever you call that side, his side. So you remember how to get rid of things like that, right? In Cricut Design Space, all you have to do is go to Contour, and then you just click on the things that you don't want to cut. So I don't want that to cut, and I probably don't even need that to cut out, I don't think. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So let's see, I'll need to make him I can either make him larger or a little smaller if I wanted to have two, as I said. So to duplicate here, I need to click on him and then say duplicate. And let's see if we can actually put two. Yeah, we can put two. Like that, maybe. I can make one a little bit bigger for my reindeer crossing. So I can get rid of this box now, and that's what it's going to look like, although these guys are going to be white also. So all I would do is click on these guys and change them to white, like that. So that's pretty much what my sign's going to look like, and it was so easy to do in Cricut Design Space, right? And I think it's going to look pretty similar to that, this one down here, other than they have one reindeer, and uh, that's pretty much the difference. All right, so as I said, I don't have my Cricut machine over here right now. So one of the things that I can do, since I actually own these things, I'm going to delete this right now and delete this piece. What I can do is I can come down here, if you can see, I'm going to take a, make a screenshot of this, a snippet. I'm going to say new. I'm going to make a snip of this. I have this other program that's going to stash up right quick, too. This one right here, I'm going to exit out. All right. So now that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit and copy. And why I'm doing this now, you guys, is because I don't have my Cricut machine right here on my Cameo. You know, I have to get my crutches and hobble over there. So I'm just going to cut this with my Cameo. If, on the other hand, you are going to cut it on your, let's go back, on your Cricut. Okay, we got some stuff we'd have to do right here. Let's finish up what we were doing here first. So I'd move the black box because I don't need that at all. And then all I would probably do is grab all of these at once and say group and attach. I'm pretty sure. Let's check it out. If I go to make it, yep. So it's all on one big mat. Now notice it says that mat's too big. If I only have a 12 by 12, we could cancel that. And I actually could uh, go ahead and change these two reindeer. Do I have them both? No, there we go. Both reindeer grab both of them. Oh, I got to ungroup it first, right? Ungroup. No, I got to detach. And then ungroup. And now I can grab the two reindeer and I could make them a different color so that even though I'd be doing them still out of white, but I'm tricking my machine now or I'm tricking my, uh, yeah, my machine basically. And um, these things should be attached. And I'll have these guys be attached as well. So they stay together exactly like I like them. Then I could go to make it. And all I need, uh oh, why is that? Did I still make it too big? Okay, so I'd have to make the reindeer crossing a little bit smaller. Let's cancel and make that a little smaller. So here we go. Make it a little tinier. Now it should work. Okay, there we go. 
So actually now my deer would probably work on that as well if I put them down here. So easy peasy and Cricut Design Space. I think that most of you know how to do that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go back now again to Silhouette. Whoopsie. Oh, there she is. Look. Look at this. Does that not look like a stinker of a baby sister? Look. Ooh, she was a stinker woo. Okay, anyway. So, I'm gonna get rid of this piece, delete, and bring my mat up here so we can see just what I'm doing. Bring it up. Okay, and I think I need to move it over this way a little bit. All right. So all I what I did before was you'll recall I did a snippet and I copied it. Now I'm going to right click and paste it. And look, it comes right into uh, Silhouette Studio for me to use. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and use this and trace this and use it somehow, I if I tried to trace it like it is, well, if I just wanted the black, this is what I would do. I would click on this and come up here to this tool right here, the effects panel on the right. And we've done this before when we've had trouble uh, actually tracing things where we had to use this panel and we use the invert button, which is the middle one right here. When I click on the invert button, I can move this over. So now it turns it perfectly. <laughs> yeah. I'm not afraid of her. She's my baby sister. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, go over here now and trace it by getting the trace panel. Select the trace area, and I could trace it just like this. And I got some junk I didn't wanna get, so I'm gonna make it a little smaller if I can. I might have to delete that later. So I'm gonna trace this first. So that lets me get rid of all this white, which I'll delete. And I can actually, um, I, I double clicked on it, that got me the nodes. Then I came over here and clicked on the word simplify, so I had less nodes. And now if I double click, I can just start get rid of, getting rid of some of these nodes down here that make up this line that I don't need. Just like that, perfect. So now if I want to, all I have to do is go ahead and uh, highlight all of that and change it to white. And I could change the cut line if I want to, to white also. And I'm ready to go, just like that. Okay. So this is Reindeer Crossing that I actually brought from my Access that I own over in Cricut Design Space. Was able to bring over the images from there and even the font. Now let's say that we don't have Cricut Access and we're just working in Silhouette. Well, how do you do that? Pretty much the same way. I'm just going to... Uh, what was the size? I forget. So where's that piece? Hang on. Let me bring the. Oops. Let me bring this back over here. So that was. Oh, look. It's not the right size anymore, right? I should have written it down. How big could I make that thing? I think it was like 18 inches total. So I would have to go ahead and make this bigger, 18 inches, and this. So I'd have to resize that. So I might as well just start again. I'm just gonna come over here and get a box. Draw a box. As I said, in um, Silhouette, it comes in with the lock automatically unlocked. So I'm going to make the width 18 inches. Enter. And I believe the height was 4.25. If I'm remembering. Oh, <laughs> whoopsie. 4.25. Okay, so now i got to scroll out so we can see the whole thing. All right. So the next thing I have to do now is I'm going to figure that about six inches again is just for my, uh, and I don't really have to do this, but I'll figure about six inches is for my reindeer. So that's good. I'll change it to do a different color. Uh, let me get that color. All right, so this is how much I have for my text. So again, I would just come over to the text tool and type in reindeer, oops, crossing. And now I'm going to be having to find a font that I like over here. So you come over here to the very right hand side to the textile panel and click on that. And I 
don't think I have that same font in here, so that must be a Cricut font because it was Arab something, and I go from Arial to Courier. And oh wait, 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 maybe Arab. Nope, looky, I don't have it. So I'm just going to have to go through here and try to find a few fonts that I like. But first, I think I'll make this larger so we can see how it's going to look. It's going to be about that big. And it, once again, I'm going to have to change the uh, line spacing. So over here is where that is in silhouette. So I can just do that. Maybe a little bit more. Whoops, too much. Let's see if that's going to work. Okay, that pretty well works. Just a hair bit, hair bit too long. And maybe I can make it a little tiny bit wider. Okay, so that's what we have right there. And I'll just change it to white because that's what it's going to be. All right. Okay, I don't like Arial. That's too bland. So I'm just going to go through a few of these quickly and see if we like anything else. Here's one I often like to use, but I'm not sure how well A.R. Christie will look for this. Okay, it's kind of interesting. It's kind of fun. Not bad. Uh, let's see what else might I like to try. We used to use Comic Sans for everything when I worked for Archie Comics. That's that's okay, but I'll tell you what. None of these look as good as that one, I think, from the um, Cricut one yet. And, of course, there's always Impact, but I think that's just going to be too strong. Whoops. Impact. Oh wait, there's Grinched. What do you think of Grinched? Have to make it wider, obviously. There's Grinched and Impact was Impact. Where is it? There it is. Impact. I think Impact's kind of ick, unless you really want to be able to see it from far away, and maybe that's what you want. And the last one is one I used yesterday on something, Malgan Gothic. Yeah, it's kind of plain, too. All right, so I don't know which one to use, so I guess I'll just go with Grinched. What who say? Oh, <laughs> shh, don't tell. I'm just going to go with Grinch just because it's kind of fun. So I'm going to change, again, the lines, the spacing, make it closer. Whoopsie. And I'll have to stretch it out like that and like this. Line spacing maybe a little too close. I don't know. I don't really like that. What do you guys think? Yeah, you used to hear reindeer on the roof. I bet you did, Jean Frieda. Huh. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. It's kind of fun, I guess. No, I don't like it. It's too crookedy. Oh, dear me, dear me. I'll just go back with... Oh, I don't know what to do. Comic scene. See, that's why I like that other font better. Impact. Anybody have an idea? A.R. AR Christie. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Okay, I kind of like that better. Somebody tell me if you have an idea of what I should be using. Hmm. Yuck. Try Freshman. Okay, I'll try Freshman. Freshman. <clears throat> Oops. I could type it in up there, couldn't I? Okay, line spacing. What do you think? Anybody have a thought on what I should use? <laughs> There's Freshman. And of course, I'd need to make it a lot taller than that, because 
I have all that space. Then I have to put my reindeer in here. So, I guess for my reindeer here now, if I didn't get something off of Google, I would come up to my library or go to the store. And actually I did, let's see, go to the store and look up reindeer. And they have a slew of them in here that you can choose from. And of course, I'd have to pay for these because, you know, you don't, I don't, well, I do actually have a thing here too. And I kind of like these guys. Kind of like those guys. Oh, oh, I already own this one. Ha, I'm going to go with this one. I already own this one. Look at here now. I'm going to open that one. There they are. So it's a reindeer set by Miss Kate Cuttables. All right, that's the one I'm going to use. So I'm going to go to Silhouette, and they should be in my Christmas folder. There they are. There they are. Okay, cool. So y'all still let me know about what you think. Hey, Jules from England. Oh, you visited some rain here today. Cool. If y'all think of something else I could use besides this font, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just go with this one. Oopsie, this one was freshman, right? Let's see what it's going to look like. I'm going to bring over this. I like this one right here. So since I got a whole set of them this time, all I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and say ungroup. And I'm just going to grab this one that's uh, flying through the air. I can make him larger. And again, I'm going to put two of them because I can. So I'm going to change his color to white. And I'll make the cut line on him white also, so you don't, it's not bothersome. There's one guy. And then I'm just going to hold down the Alt on my keyboard and drag a second one over like that. I did like the last one, which was what? I don't remember what it was. You mean the last font? The last font, let's see, what was that? The last font, what? oh, I could be able to tell maybe by recently used. A.R. Christie, that one? You like that one better? It's a little more a little more fun, maybe? Okay, and I need to change the line spacing then. Uh, Jean Fried, are you still here? Which one do you like better? This one or the one I just did? I think this one's cute. I need to make it bigger again. I keep leaving a margin around there, but I forget my margin is already included. So I can stretch it all the different ways. Here we go. Yes, you said yuck. Who said yuck? <laughs> to this one? I like this. I think it's fun. All right, I'm just going to go with this one. Okay, so to save time, I did already cut out the reindeer. I cheated. <laughs> so if I look, let me look down here. So I did cut out reindeer already. I've even already, oh, can you see? Yeah, basically, this is the white reindeer I'm going to use. There's another one in here. I did put a weeding box around the reindeer, which is something that we can do if you're using um, Silhouette. So I'll just go ahead and weed this guy out, this reindeer. I did not cut the font yet to text though, because I had no clue what I was going to use. I really truly like the one that was in uh, Design Space better, to be honest with you. And maybe that's one you can get from um, Defont.com. But so now I have both of these ready to go, and now what I have to do is cut out my text. So. Yep, I have the vinyl already on my mat. And let's see, all I'm going to do right now, so I'm going to get rid of these other things because I've already cut this. I don't need to cut this blue piece. That was just for helping me know what size to use. I've already cut out the reindeer. Hey, where's the other one? Oh, there he is. Okay. All right, I've already cut out both of those reindeer. So the only thing I need to cut out now is this. Now I'm a little nervous, so I'm gonna see what size is this. Well, it says it's 10 and a half inches. So I'm gonna double check on my board. 
because this is all the white I have left. And if I mess this up, we are S-O-L. Okay, so let me put my reindeer here. Just trying to get a feel for this. And if I said this part up here, my reindeer crossing is almost 11 inches. Let's double check and make sure down here I'm going to have almost 11 inches. I think I will. Yes, I do. Yippee dippy. All right, that's going to work perfectly. So all I have to do now is cut out my, um, my text and we're ready to put it on. So I'll go ahead and put this in my machine. And since when I cut the, um, the reindeer, I used the same exact vinyl, my setting should be just perfect. And I'm not sure why this keeps popping up. All right, so I'm gonna say send. And since it's just vinyl, it's not heat transfer vinyl, I do not mirror it. Uh-oh, look at it. it went back to this. So I do have to change it. Uh-oh, what did I use? I think I used Vinyl Glossy, and I think I changed this up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do what I always tell everybody else to do, just to make sure, is I'm gonna run a test. I don't wanna cut all this out, and this being the last of the white vinyl I have, and it not work. So to do a test easily in Silhouette, all you do is come down here on the lower right-hand corner, click the word Test. What it's gonna do is, if you look up here to the left of the R in Reindeer, it's going to make a little square up here on my mat and a triangle inside of it. Should cut perfectly. So let's check it out. I'm going to test. Okay, so now I've tested this. I'm going to bring this down here and weed this out and see if it did it properly the way I would want. Okay, look at that. See that? That piece came out just perfectly. Whoops, I don't want to stick it to my mat forever and ever. And now the little triangle too. So my test cut's perfect and I'm ready to go. So I'm going to stick it back in there and be ready. Or go send. So now I'm just going to send this and it's going to cut. Shouldn't take long. The question I want to know now is, I wonder, you know, usually we always say to wipe everything with an alcohol wipe, but I don't know if you should wipe a chalkboard with an alcohol wipe. So I have no idea. Let's see. Ooh, I have a test piece. Let's see if this is going to stick pretty well. It's going to stick okay. Huh. I think I will, while that's cutting right quick over there. I'll go ahead and just wipe this with a paper towel. And it is getting some dusty stuff off, so see that? I don't know if you can see. It's dirty. And while we're waiting for that to cut, did y'all see this that I made the other day that I absolutely love? I'm so excited about this little box. I just think it's so super cute. Little stationary box. I'm on a roll making some stuff. And I hope you saw this one. And then also the one where I used the glitter. Now, Barbara, I know you used the one with the glitter because you said you got glitter all over the place. That was one of the glitter ones. The Aren't they pretty in person, you guys, that have made these? They're gorgeous. You really can't tell by looking here on the screen. Let's see if I have anything else for show and tell while we're waiting. Hopefully I didn't, where did I put my reindeer? Oh my gosh. I have lost my reindeer. You guys. Did it fall on the floor? Hold on. I lost my reindeer. Huh. Okay. I 
Guys, I seriously cannot find those reindeer. All right, we'll start with the text. <laughs> Maybe they'll show up. Oh, wait, here they are. Here they are, I think. Yes, there they are. Hey, yay. Okay, so here's the text. So I'm going to go ahead and read that real quick. my chair back in. You guys all ready for Thanksgiving? Who's cooking? We're going out. I used to always cut the cook the turkey when my kids were little unless we were going to my parents' house. But I don't like cooking the turkey and the stuffing and that stuff. And actually, whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> oh no, I let that get on there. That was one of the things I was pretty good at cooking. Hey, don't do what I just did. I don't know if you noticed. I let the sticky part get back on these letters and it stuck to them. I swear a lot of my videos are what not to do. Huh? Okay, there. Oh, grab the C right off with it. Okay, there. My goodness. Okay, that's crooked, but that's okay. I'm not going to get rid of this big old piece. I just peel off in case there's something in there I need. So it's C R O S S I N G. You're going to start your Christmas cards next year in January? That's funny. You ready, Tammy? Are you cooking, Tammy? Oh, yeah, I didn't get to go to my to their house because of my leg. Yeah, so here I am. Well, and it's maybe a good thing because they had several feet of snow just yesterday so I probably wouldn't have been able to even get in their house at first okay there's the text I don't know if you can see it yeah, if I hold it like that you can kind of see it all right so we're ready to go so what do you think should I put the um, text on first Whoa. all right so I've got to get out my transfer tape. Your mama and your sisters are cooking. Okay. Child, you guys, oh, you made a glitter mess too? <laughs> So far, so good. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. I would be miserable. Can you imagine if I were stuck in an airport somewhere? Oh my gosh. Oh, that'd be horrible. It's been a while since I've done some vinyl like this. Hopefully I remember exactly what I'm doing. So just peel this back off. It's going well. Now we got to hope that it's going to go nicely on the sign. So, maybe I should put the reindeer on first. They're going to go there. This. Better stand up so I can see. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Okay. 
guess you guys are glad to get all those leaking things fixed, but not very good prezzies. Of course, it's not Christmas, I guess. Let's see if I can take this off here now and get it to stick nicely. So far, so good. Working perfectly. Whoopsie. Oh, get back. Get back. There you go. Okay, that's great. That worked perfectly. Now I'm just going to put this back down on here for a minute and just make sure to burnish all of that down so it's going to stick well. Okay, now for... Oh, that's cute. I'm glad we went with this font, you guys. Good decision. Now we're going to do the deer. You know, I probably could have made the deer a little bit bigger, but I think that'd be okay. And I'm trying to decide if I should put them both on at the same time. And I think I will. It will make it easier for me. So, again, move this out of the way. And bring up a piece of my transfer tape. And I'm going to make these guys on the right-hand side of it. So I don't have any chance of sticking part of it to the text. Whoopsie. There's that. these will peel off just as easily. Perfect. Yay. Okay. And bring this thing back in. Ah, you guys see it all sideways and backwards, don't you? Sorry. You know, I need to figure that out, really. Maybe somebody can let me know what I'm doing wrong. Here we go with my little deer. I guess I could angle them like that a little bit, right? That'd be cute. Like that. Get out my squeegee. Squeegee them down. Again, I'll put this down on here just to make sure that they're well down, down adhered. Let's kind of go over them. Alright, this turned out super cute. I wish it wasn't backwards for you guys. It's really cute. And it's got that long stake that goes here. Maybe I'll put it outside and take a picture of it and that's what will be my thumbnail so you can find see the final product. Because I think it turned... Hey, maybe if I put you guys up like this and I hold it it's still gonna be backwards but at least you can see more of it that's how cute it is and then there's the little stake that goes right in here and you must have to use a hammer or something to get it to go in oh there it goes just wiggle a little bit guess what <laughs> You know how we're all worried about the fumes and everything. This one does says it's compliant for formaldehyde in California. So I guess it's not a problem. But isn't that cute? It's really cute if it wouldn't be backwards for you guys. And of course you can put something on the other side because it is double sided. Just take this little sticker off. And again, like I said, I usually like to make them so that I can take this off and reuse these things. Super cute. <laughs> I just wish it wasn't backwards. Anyway. That was my Jean Frieda project for today. Thanks, Jean. And I really like it a lot. It turned out super cute. So, I'm glad you guys joined me. I really enjoy doing these Jean Fridas. Really, she really makes me get outside of my comfort zone. Especially because I saw something about next week's. It has something to do with a wreath and putting little pieces of ribbon in it somehow. And that's not my best suit. So we'll see next week how that turns out because I'm a little nervous about that. Anyway, thanks Jean Frieda and thank you all of you for coming. I really appreciate it. I hope you liked today's um, project 
And I hope that you enjoyed seeing how easy it is to make it in Cricut Design Space. And like I showed, I could have just as easily, if I went back here, if I can still find it, let's see if I can find that text over here. Where was it? Oh, I can't remember if I deleted it or was it just white? <laughs> I just really like that font that I had over there in Cricut Design Space, and I would have liked to have used that again. I wonder if I was to one more time go paste, if it's still here. Let me paste this. Yeah, there it is. So that's the font that I liked actually better than the one that I ended up using. And I could have used this font that I dragged over because I own it. You know, I mean, I pay my monthly fee to be able to use these things. So, you know, I'm using it over here and and I could actually bring it over here and if I wanted to add a, um, an offset to it or anything like that. So I don't know, maybe, I can't tell which one I like better actually. They're both really cute. Put this back here again. Bring my deer over. Change this one to black. Just so you can see. Anyway, the point is, you know, it's just as, it, this, this particular project was just as easy to make in uh, Cricut Design Space as it is in Silhouette. There's two of those. And there they are. So this one was Cricut Design Space up here on the top. And this one I did in Silhouette. So you like what? The You like which font? You're welcome, child. Thanks, Roxana. Love which font? The one from Cricut Design Space? Or you guys like the this crazy one here, the A.R. Christie. This one looks more like little kid-like and fun. This one looks a little bit more refined. They're both cute. And you know what else you could do, you guys? You could put a little red nose on one of these guys, right? I could even just put a little glitter nose on him, a little bling glitter. So, All right, thank you very much for coming. And I hope to see you all again next week. I guess we'll be doing something Saturday, right? How is everybody going to be able to make it on Saturday? The pa whoever's here that's a patron, are you planning on coming on Saturday? You like them both? Good. Oh, you like them both too? Cool. Yes, CD space. Yes, CD space. Cricut design. Yes, Cricut design space. You like the Cricut design space one better? Happy Thanksgiving to you too, Barbara. Thanks. All right, I'm gonna double check, see if there's any other questions. Good. Okay, I'm gonna end this here. So you'll be here, you'll be available Saturday. Cool, okay, great. Well, that's, that's true, Roxanne. It depends on where you're gonna put it and what you're trying to do. Yeah. Okay, I guess that's it. See you again soon. Bye. Bye, team.